Uh, yeah, so, um, we were, like, climbing along the side of these sheer rock wall cliffs, and, uh, you know, some were, some of us were more experienced at this than others, and some were less experienced, but more courageous, and, um, one of the girls fell off, like, maybe ten feet, and, um, rolled down this, this, like, gravelly kind of um, slide, I guess you'd call it, uh, and almost impaled her, like, face on this, uh, spike of a, a rotting tree trunk part. Like, she was... Close to death. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Anyway, that was a fun trip. Someone almost died. Um, the day before, I pretended to push her off the edge of an actual cliff. It was fun. <laughs> there weren't any animals, though. That was kind of weird. Speaking of which, there aren't any, like, there was that deer at the beginning, but other than that, there haven't been any, like, little squirrels running around or anything. That's kind of disappointing. Where are my squirrels at? Okay, so there's the downed line. Right there. And there's a, um, a stash box thing. That I can only get at from the other side, it seems. Can I go this way? Yes. Good. Uh, what secrets lurk within? There we go. Okay. You have to be a very specific distance to get... No, not up. You have to get it really close. Copy this map information. What's, what's new, map? What have we learned? Uh, okay, a little bit about that. Uh, anything else? Nothing down here? Okay. Nothing really that we didn't already know, other than you can go to the places that you can go to. Um, so, thanks anyway. Notes. Dave, hey -o, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down, been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know what, how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know? Amigos Professionales, if you need someone to throw a case back with you and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it later, Ron. Eh, don't care about that. Lots of pine cones in here. Here's a board. Ah, it was a hidden secret stash. That was worth hiding? Get out of here. What else? Pine cones, yeah, lots of pine cones. 
There's no, like, secret, like, murder thing or something. Uh, this is like, like a five-year-old's uh, time capsule or something. Hey, it's a turtle. Better better call it in. Whoa, I, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. It's a secret. No, actually, I think I'll come up with this thing's name on my own. Something real special. What a lucky creature. That's not what I meant to say at all. All right. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. How am I supposed to get up there? Nope. I don't know what the deal is, but every instinct I have is telling me to press the wrong buttons. Long drop. Okay, so can I just follow the, the wires and get up that way? Hey, more beer cans. If those stupid girls took this power line down, I'm gonna give them a knuckle sandwich. The biggest, most mustardy and ham and cheese knuckle sandwich ever. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans. Are you the kidding me? Beer, those girls were drinking. And they also left us a, a message. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? Knuckle sandwich! I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... <sighs> Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. How much beer did they drink? Jesus. Oh, I uh, didn't mention that they made the hillside up here their own personal dumpster. <sighs> I am serious, Henry. I want these girls to never, ever want to go backpacking ever again. I hear you. Okay. So, now I have to be... The, the Eagle Scout, and uh, use um, my little tracking skills and follow the beer can trail. Is that it? Hmm. Is there a different way? Or does that just go up and then end at the, the cut wire? Uh, 
I think it just ends at the cut wire. Yes. Um, so... I have to pay more attention. Um, she said something about heading back towards my tower, right? All over the place. Hmm. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Where I saw them last. No problem. Unless I can't get down from there <laughs> or back up, whichever way you want to put it. This is this game do, is doing a really good job of making me hate those girls with a passion. Like I, I have, am hating them more than like Final Fantasy villains who are trying to destroy existence themselves. Existence itself. Wow. Um, existence is plural now. I'm gonna make that a movement. Makes it make existence plural. Um, oh, here we go. Clear it. Clear. Clear the blocked trail. Hmm. Do I have to get the missile to do it or something? This isn't Metroid. Okay, so... Blocked trail will not let me proceed for some reason. I suspect that that is the way I'm supposed to go. It's just not letting me go forward. Ah? Uh, no. Um. Did I loop around somehow? There we go. All I had to do was some weird mental gymnastics or something. Unless I just fooled myself into thinking I escaped. Oh, that's a cool little underpass. All right, um, where are we at? Um, so there's the cut wire. We saw them at this lake here. Uh, She suggested that I go 
down overgrown trail. So I probably need some kind of cutting shears or something to get through there. I remember I, remember I got through something like that earlier, but maybe this one's denser or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay, let's keep going west and uh, see what happens. Because south is just... Actually, that's basically nothing. So maybe it'll be a scenic vista. Or a Dark Souls shortcut. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Okay. Wish I could have heard that from the other side. Would have saved me some some confusion. So this game graphically has a weird kind of quality to it where it's not lifelike at all. Uh, I want to go to Two Forks, but there's the supply drop right there that could be helpful. Also, I think I might be stuck. Um, what's that symbol mean? Old. Helpful. Um, so... I'll check that out some other time, I'm sure. Right? Um, yeah, so it's got this weird kind of aesthetic quality where... Um, hello? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Okay. Ah! Why did, well, I, am flush why did I do that? Now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up I think oh get this this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras with pictures left yeah he only used three or four neato thank you Brian Goodwin wait wait who the bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top huh wow do you know him yeah I just haven't heard that name in a few years Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, near lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Blame it on her. I couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm. Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Okay. Attach the rope. Nope. 
For once it didn't break. Okay, great. And I have to just do a leap of faith here, huh? Or I just can't go on at all. Weird. Can I get back up? There we go. So what's the point of having that there if there's nothing else down there I don't believe it there's more to the story there's got to be some little little thing there we go just gotta look around for obvious obvious solutions to simple problems all right let's check out this box and uh two forks, Jonesy Lake. Jonesy Lake is where we're headed. One, two, three, four, four. There we go. Copy that map info. What's new? What's new in the world of maps? No. Um all kinds of trails. So it looks like those two end in a dead end. That's what old must mean. Old trail. Um, or their uh, tether points for um, rope. I think that's much more likely. Because I just used two and there's two. Alright, what else? What do we got? Fossilized claw? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Loose stone. Get out of here. Interesting. I'll put that back. That's not what I really wanted to do, but whatever. Uh, to Jonesy Lake. Nothing really over there. Okay. Yeah, so the game has this weird... Um, this weird kind of aesthetic... where it doesn't exactly so, look real. I'll, I'm trying to talk, lady. I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker. 
for 15 years. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm married, married, stupid. But you're here. <laughs> uh She's sick and I shouldn't she's be sick. here. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, anytime <laughs> you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. <laughs> I have to go do anything else now. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there. Fireweed. Little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Fireweed sounds like it's something from Game of Thrones. Like you, you light it on fire and throw it at someone and the seeds explode or something. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Stupid flapjacks. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Now, uh, say here, flapper. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. He he did not uh pull that off very well. Okay. Going to put this here so I can get back up later if I need to. But I'm not going to go down. This is good music. You know, for once I actually appreciate that there's no just background music um, constantly in the background and then this came up I like it um, usually I like to have some some music just you know even if it's like uh, minimalistic um, you know what would you call it uh, ambient music But because of the whole being out in nature thing, I just like the sound of the wind. That's wonderful. Um, all right, now.